The third degree is a third year showcase designed for third year musicians to perform their final assessment in front of a full live audience. It's designed to be the closest thing to a live festival as possible. So, oh bollocks. You guys set? Hit it, hit it! Third Degree is kind of like a big, uh, we're trying to make it into this big festival, but really it's a showcase of, of kind of um, Lippa's talent. Third degree is largely uh, to showcase the music and the diversity of music of our third year music students. Um, we incorporate some graduate students into that and some local up and coming musicians. But it's about like, showing to um, the local community, uh, the local mu you know, music industry, the national music industry, um, and the international music industry based on our student cohort, the sort of range of quality and diversity of the type of music and music students that we produce here. The event incorporates pretty much everything that the teachers, from um, sound and lighting um, to stage design, through to uh, management, dance. I think the only probably thing, the only thing that's not sort of included in in these performances is that. <laughs> is the closest thing to doing a real large scale event and plus we get the financial backing of Lipper so it's something that we probably wouldn't get a chance to do until we were five years into our careers. I think from the musicians also, if they're not gigging a lot then it kind of gives them a chance to perform in front of a large crowd in a professional kind of atmosphere and a professional space. an opportunity to get the gigging experience that uh, they might not necessarily have got but will need when they're out in the real world uh, and then also kind of like third year technicians and sound techs uh, to kind of get experience on like another type of event they could be working on once they leave as well. There's a big emphasis on the stage management marketing, sound tech and lighting courses um, for everyone to get involved and make a good production of it and there's a reasonably good balance of people in this and to produce a good show for both the performers and the technicians. Now we've got to the final show in two weeks, it's nice to be able to see all the efforts and stuff we've put into it come to pay now and see what exactly the musicians can do. We're getting the hands-on experience while we're in Lipper ready to, when we leave, go out into the industry and hopefully have an edge over other people that might not have had the hands-on experience and just done the academic stuff.
Oh yeah, and eat an in and out burger when you're in California. Are you ready guys? Is it started yet? No, oh, but like, are you ready to make like, it like You ready, Jim? I, I feel something. Do you feel a stirring in your, in your loins? It could be illness, but it could be being prepared. Well, it's a fine line between leprosy and rock and roll! I'll just take you through now to the green room, which is where we prepare before our shows. Come with me. We have many beautiful women arranging our cloths. Yeah, these uh, are going to be worn by said Egyptian members. Cloths. Yes. <laughs> we won't be doing a full show tonight, including cloths, of course. They um, will be naked underneath. But the they cloth. are. It is part of our entourage that we take with us everywhere. Isn't that right? Giles. Yes, the yes. harem. Yes. Yeah. It, it helps the karma in the room. So, yeah. To have yeah. Indian it's all good. I've got to go now and have sex uh, with many women. I shall see you, Anon. Are many oh, women wrong in door. The <laughs> yes. oh, it was actually this way. Exactly.